Hi, my name is Kathy Lasky, and I'm the director of the George Mason University Center for Resilient and Sustainable Communities, or CRASC. On behalf of CRASC and George Mason University, I would like to welcome you to the 14th annual Star Tides Capabilities Demo. We're all virtual this year, and we're calling ourselves Converging Approaches to Sustainable Resilience. Let me start by giving you a little bit of background on CRASC. CRASC is one of a set of transdisciplinary research centers chartered by George Mason University. What do we mean by a transdisciplinary center? Well, the centers were chartered to deal with complex, multifaceted problems that require expertise from multiple disciplines, not just individual contributions from multiple disciplines, but integrating in a way that creates new knowledge that goes beyond an individual discipline and also incorporates practitioners along with researchers. So the CRASC vision is to support communities worldwide as they create life-changing social and economic opportunities. We focus on bottom-up locally led resilience initiatives, not a bunch of outside experts coming in and telling people how to solve their problems, but using our expertise and our knowledge to support approaches that are driven by the community itself. And we look for comprehensive and measurable uh, resilience approaches that can be transferable to other settings. So one of our fundamental, uh, one of our fundamental maxims is listening, learning, and lasting. We listen to the community in order to support learning, both we learn and they learn, and we learn together and in order to create lasting change. And you don't create lasting change until behavior itself changes. And that requires listening and learning. One of CRASC's major initiatives is Star Tides. And that's what we're talking about today. So what is Star Tides? Star Tides is a global knowledge sharing network focused on building sustainable resilience. As you can see, there are many, uh, there are thousands of organizations uh, supporting Star Tides across the, across the globe, international, many countries, many organizations, universities, nonprofit organizations, uh, a, a wide variety of, of groups that support CRASC. Um, it is hosted now at George Mason University, but uh, and uh, ha has been strongly supported by the Naval Postgraduate School, and as you can see on this chart, several other universities as well. So let me tell you about our team. Uh, the uh, the team includes that vast network that I showed you, the thousands of nodes across the globe. Uh, but at George Mason, our CRASC team our transdisciplinary researchers are drawn from across the universities and our supporting institutions include the College of Science, the School of Business, the College of Health and Human Services, the Volgina School of Engineering, the Shar School of Public Policy and Governance, and the Carter School for Peace and Conflict Resolution. We take integrated approaches that are focused on a community, use knowledge sharing and innovative economics, uh, and uh, are supported by cross-cutting keys to success. And we integrate a set of what Star Tides Network has called the technological platforms. And you can see them on this circle, that these different platforms have to be integrated to solve resilience challenges. We have energy, shelter and heating and cooling and lighting, water and sanitation, agriculture and food security, communications and inf uh, information technology, and health and nutrition. And these technolo technological platforms are supported by governance. And we have a set of cross-cutting keys to success that include narrative systems thinking, shared knowledge resources, education, finance, transport and logistics, and digital enabling technologies. And all these elements can be brought together to support community-led resilience initiatives. You will see in the program for Star Times, you will see these platforms and you will see many of these cross-cutting keys to success in several of our breakout sessions focusing on specific elements of the uh, of the Star Tides vision. 
So let me give you a little bit of history of Star Tides. Star Tides began in 2007 as a Department of Defense program called TIDES, which stands for Transformative Innovation for Development and uh, em Emergency Support. And so for the past 14 years, uh, the TIDES program has supported real world events, field experimentation, technical demos. Uh, eventually, as the DOD program ramped down, we brought up uh, the, the, the uh, the, ter the term STAR was added, standing for sharing for to, to accelerate research, uh, and it, it became STAR Tides. And it moved to Mason in 2017 and was brought under CRESC when CRESC started in 2019, about one year ago. And so the technological demo, the, the annual STAR Tides demo has been at George Mason since 2017. And currently we have a number of projects and a number of Star Tides teams. If you go to our uh, website at star-tides.net, uh, you can learn more about our projects and more about our teams. We have collaborations with the People-Centered Internet, the Atlantic Council's Geotech Center, several universities, including Syracuse University and Shepherd University in Shepherdstown, West Virginia, to address a number of resilience initiatives. And uh, Star Tides supports a number of CRASC activities that include research projects on water for sustainable agriculture in Ethiopia, uh, complex adaptive threats such as cyber attacks that occur in conjunction with a natural disaster, uh, and, uh, and several other initiatives, including business resilience in Puerto Rico. And we also have an international reach. As I mentioned, there are Star Tides nodes all over the world, but we also have Star Tides networks in Japan and in Latin America. Let me give you an overview of Star Tides, uh, the, our virtual capabilities demo. We, uh, the, uh, it's occurring, the main, the main program occurs on October 20 and 21, Tuesday and Wednesday. And the, we have three keynote speakers. Uh, Tom Friedman, a New York Times Pulitzer Prize winning columnist. We have a second keynote, uh, General Michael Plain from the US Air Force, Deputy Commander of Southern Command, and Claire Malamud, who is the CEO of Global Partnership for Sustainable Development Data. These will be fascinating talks that uh, I'm sure that you will enjoy. And we also have several panels. We have a panel on building sustainable resilience across silos. and. Um, just as we need to branch out across multiple disciplines, we need to branch out from different silos, organizational silos that keep people from seeing cross-cutting solutions. We also have a panel on sustaining cross-cutting solutions across silos. And that's moderated. The first one is moderated by Dr. David Bray from the Atlantic Council. And the second one is moderated by Bob Gurley. And then each afternoon we will have breakout sessions, a set of sessions from 1 to 2.30 and a set of sessions from 2.45 to 4.15. The, uh, the, we've color coded them. And the first set of breakouts on each day will be red, orange, yellow, green, and blue, energy, shelter, water, uh, near, uh, keys to success, narrative and storytelling, systems thinking and ethics, and, uh, and focus, a focus on Puerto Rico. And then the later afternoon, 2.45 to 4.15 p.m. breakout sessions will be brown, violet, gray, black, and pink, those color codes, agriculture and food security, information and communications technology, nutrition, public health, and integrated cooking, logistics, and pink is the career track. So students, you may want to go to the career track if you're interested in careers in sustainable development. Companies, if you're interested in hiring in sustainable development, you may be interested in the career track. And uh, finally, each day we will have a wrap up from 4.30 to 5. And then on uh, Wednesday, October 22nd is our exhibitors day. We will, you can meet with exhibitors to learn more about the capabilities they offer. You can, you can meet up with the exhibitors anytime during the first two days, but also on the, uh, the third day. We can, uh, you can hook up with, with exhibitors to learn more about what, what the, those, what that exhibitor is offering. And so with that overview, I welcome you to our virtual capabilities demo. I'm sorry we can't meet you on the Merton lawn uh, as we have in, in the past two, three years, uh, but I will be, I, I look forward to interacting with you at our virtual capabilities demo and let's hope 
next year we'll be back at George Mason in our usual location in person. Thank you very much.